Never Stop Learning, week 303. We're going to take a quick look at templates in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017. All right, so this is a feature that came in for Adobe Photoshop CC 2015.5. And this is going to allow me to make sure I don't overwrite my templates. And I'll show you how this works. All right, a couple weeks back, I was using the vanishing point to set up this mock-up. All right, now I'm going to use this as a template. So I'm going to lock this bottom layer down, get rid of this artwork, and just add a new blank layer. And this is the one that I'll be adding my new artwork to. All right, the cool thing is the vanishing point filter is still going to leave this grid set up for me. All right, great. Now over here at the top in the file menu, I'm going to scroll down to find save as. When you click on that, it's going to give you the option to save as, basically changing the name. I'm going to come to the end where it says .psd and add a letter T. So now it reads .psdt, and that stands for Photoshop Document Template. All right, now down over here on the bottom right, I'm going to click Save and then click OK. All right, so it doesn't look like much has happened yet. Let me close this guy out, click Open. Now we have our new file here. It says uh, templates.psdt. That's the one I want to open. Now check this out. When I hit open over here in the top left in the tab, it now says untitled one. So the cool thing about that is if I hit command S to save this document, I actually have to give this a new name. And that's going to make sure I don't overwrite that template that I have set up over here already. So there you have it folks. That's a quick look at templates in Adobe Photoshop CC 2017.